Alright, what is up YouTube? It is Psychic like Alexazor, and I am here with my week 8 battle of the NBL versus Sky, uh, who I have been in leagues with more or less since I started, so it's pretty cool. We battled a couple times, matches have gone back and forth. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, um, I'm late uploading this. Obviously, as you can see, is I've got like at least like two weeks since I've uploaded the last battle, so within a few days, if not just straight up tomorrow, just to catch up with uploads, I'm going to uh, be uploading week nine as well. And I also did this battle kind of out of order. I played week nine first and then I played week eight. So I'm gonna not spoil where I am in the standings, uh, but yeah, just, just so you know, another upload is coming uh, very soon. So that'll be nice. Anyway, uh, Sky's got a very scary team. Uh, I am, I'm not even going to say that I'm going to put on the right here. I know damn well I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to record, upload, and be done with it. But uh, Sky's team is Slowbro, Stunfisk, Metacham, Swoobat, Clinclang, Dodrio, Gorgeist, Skuntank, Passimian, Kabutops, Rapidash, and Electabuzz, with the two Z users being Metacham and Gorgeist. So, problem. Switching into Metacham. <laughs> All I need to say. But I'm going to say more anyway. Um, switching into Metacham is really, really a problem. Uh, in addition with uh, Gorgeist being able to set up uh, with Omni Boosting, uh, Z Trick or Treat is also a problem. And there's no Mon on his team that I think is straight up unbringable or not viable. I think, if anything, probably Rapidash is, like, absolutely not coming. Uh, and I kind of doubt Pissimi is coming, only because I think Metacham does well enough. I don't think he needs, really, another fighting type. Uh, but aside from that, uh, anything is fair game. But uh, here's the team that I came up with. It is uh, Fizdef uh, Grand Bowl with a Rocky Helmet. Uh, this is my primary switch in to Metacham, because I will intimidate it, so I'll take the hits better and chip it down to Rocky Helmet. Uh... I know I can't give him all the momentum because I can't keep switching into Metacham, it's just a problem. But uh, Play Rough will Oko Metacham. Uh, Earthquake is to cover... and eh, what switch ins? Uh, Kling Clang, just so it doesn't switch in for totally for free. Also Skuntank. And uh, just kind of a Cleric, as well as uh, throwing off Toxics on certain things, like Gorgeist, if it wants to set up on me. Um, and this is, yeah, this is my primary fighting switch in. And... Uh, I just have to worry about it getting worn down too quickly because it has no recovery, but it is pretty strong physically, defensively, so it will hopefully be able to hold its own. Uh, next, we've actually got uh, the win condition here, which is really cool. We've got a Nasty Plot Technician, uh, Lolan Persian, Nasty Plot, Snarl, HP Ground, and Icy Wind. Uh, all of those moves are about 90 base power itch ish because of um, Technician. And I outspeed his entire team except for Swoobat with uh, this. So unless Swoobat is packing a uh, signal beam, I should be able to beat that. And I think I can just deal with it well in general. Um, but I Oko just about everything on his team. Just about everything on his team, just with Snarl and HP Ground. Uh, Icy Wind is kind of just... I didn't know what to throw on there. I considered having Parting Shot, but Icy Wind could be nice for... If I didn't set up, it does give me a harder way to hit uh, Dodrio. Um, or just if I know I'm not going to be able to knock something out, at least I can slow it down to help my other threats. So this is a huge win condition. This is actually so much more powerful with Technician than you'd think it would be. So I am extremely excited to see this thing kind of work. Uh, next, we've got another physical switch in because he just has such good physical spam. Uh, we've got Omastar. Uh, neat set, I really like this. Choppleberry Weak Armor with a Surf, Ice Beam, Earth Power, and Stealth Rock. It is my rocker, but uh, the goal is I can switch this thing into Metacham or Passimian once because of the Choppleberry. Um, or twice if Passimian goes for U-Turn. I can also switch this into Dodrio, walls it pretty well. But this thing can't be a switch into Metacham normally because it'll just be two hit KO'd uh, after it pops the Choppleberry. But... I'm at enough speed where I outspeed his entire team uh, after a weak armor boost. So basically, I come in, he gives me plus two speed, and I just start killing things with my coverage. Uh, so that's going to be really nice uh, as kind of a lure. 
Um, he Mostly, I just don't think he'll expect it, especially if he sees me set up Stealth Rocks first. So I really like this set. Uh, next, we have got a Choice Scarf Malamar, Knock Off Superpower, Destiny Bond, and Psycho Cut. Uh, not a whole lot to explain here, just um, it does well against his team. He doesn't really have fighting resists outside of Slowbro, which are probably not coming in on a dark type. So that's going to be really, really nice. Uh, and Destiny Bond is just, in, again, in case things get out of hand, I can just Destiny Bond something and make it go away. Uh, I definitely, It's definitely nice that I can afford to run Adamant. Uh, it does make a pretty big difference. Uh, another not really a lot to explain on this set. Next, we have got uh, Spadeflorantis with um, almost entirely standard set. Uh, not bringing Defog, because I don't really think his hazard options are even that good in the first place. Uh, he's got Stunfisk for rocks, and Kabutops for rocks, and that's it. Uh, both of which lose to Lorantis, so if I definitely, if I wanted to bring Defog, I definitely could, but I didn't think it was worth it. I thought Toxic was more important. And this is also my switch into Electabuzz, which definitely is a problem in this matchup, but... I kind of just have to live with it. Uh, I don't have a ground type, which I really regret not having, and I'm going to have one in the future. Uh, I never replaced it when I dropped Hippopotas. Not that it was a great ground type in the first place, but it at least did kind of dissuade electro types a little bit, um, and that's kind of this team's weakness right now. So Lorantis is definitely getting leaned on here, uh, but Volt Switch Spam is going to be bad for this team. And then finally, we've got a secondary win condition, a Tailwind Braviary with Phytinium Z, uh, Dual Stabs, and Superpower. Superpower, I don't even need the Phytinium Z to necessarily get any Okos. I'm pretty sure that with a little bit of chip, I Oko Kling Clang with Superpower anyway. But since Tailwind is such limited turns, and it'll probably be hard to set up, uh, the Phytinium Z at least allows me to avoid the attack drops so that I can keep going with Braviary, and he just doesn't have switch-ins to this at all. Uh, when you add in the fighting coverage and the dual stabs, he doesn't have a switch into this. Uh, the only thing is I'm going to need Slowbro a little bit worn down because I don't think that I two-hit KO Slowbro. Uh, I wish I could have run Adamant, but I am running max speed to speed tie with the Metacham, and I don't think he's ever going to risk staying in, so that's at least a good thing to note here. So, with all that explained, uh, let's get into the match. As you can see, he brought pretty much what I expected. Um, he's got his uh, Dodrio plus Metacham, which is a really good offensive core. Slowbro is almost single-handedly being the defensive mon on this team, and uh, it looks like Kabutops is the stealth rocker, although I don't know if I picked up on that necessarily when I first played the game, so that's kind of a problem. So, let's get into this. Um, so, first off, we have got uh, Scarf Malamar lead, which is immediately revealed turn one to be Scarf Electabuzz, which is really a problem. <laughs> and I'm able to switch in uh, Omastar here and get up my rocks. Uh, Kabutops comes in. Uh, do I stay in here? No, I switch out to uh, Grand Bowl to take the hit, but then he sets up his own rocks, and so I haven't watched this replay actually in a couple days, so I don't remember exactly how some of these go, but he does switch into Slowbro here as I go for an Earthquake. I definitely wanted to click Toxic, but I thought Kling Clang was coming in, so that's why I clicked Earthquake. I do fire off Toxic now, but we end up trading Toxics, which is going to matter a little bit because I don't want any unnecessary chip on Grand Bowl. So because of that, I'm definitely going to switch out here. I'm going to go into Lorantis, which handles uh, Slowbro extremely well. But uh, I didn't predict this. It just handles Slowbro well, and I happened to... Um, I do get toxic by the Copa Tops, though, which is annoying. Uh, so this thing can't sweep because I won't have time to get up my special attack and then start sweeping things uh, before toxic starts being really a problem. So he's definitely going to go Dodrio here. And I'm going to be able to go Omastar here pretty safely. He is going to Brave Bird me, which is going to proc my weak armor. And I still have my Choppleberry intact, so I believe I can still take a hit from Metacham. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to Surf and knock this thing out, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, but he gets to continue to bring in this Electabuzz, which is a huge 
pain in my ass this game is he fires off a completely free volt switch and he's going to get to go right into i believe metacham yep goes right into metacham and something's going to have to drop here something is going to have to drop that's going to end up being my grand bull which he is able to hit ko because he does predict and go for poison jab here i'm chipping it down a little bit which is nice with rocky helmet but because he made that prediction uh he's going to easily be able to hit ko me um so that's unfortunate, but this does at least mean that I can go into my Braviator here to scare it out, and I make this Tailwind play here instead of attacking because I realize with Scarf Electabuzz, um, his Signal Beam is able to Oko my uh, Persian, which is my win condition at this point, so, and it's still able to outspeed uh, Braviary under Tailwind, so my only way of winning this game at this point is setting up Tailwind, hoping Metacham kills me, and then setting up Nasty Plot with uh, with Persian and going for game here. I realize this may not have worked because he easily could have just stalled out the turns with other Mons and uh, gone into uh, Electabuzz later, but I was hoping that I could remove his other Mons like Metacham and then just have uh Lorantis be able to 1v1 it later but as he with a high jump kick he is barely going to avoid knocking me out which I wanted him to knock me out here but I am going to go for a brave bird here and kill myself to the recoil so I am then going to be able to go right into my Persian here and I'm going to set up a nasty plot. Sorry for the pace of this, but I feel like normal goes a little too fast for me, so I just have it on slow. I'm going to set up my nasty plot here as he reveals the yawn. Um, I can't switch out because with tail, if I'm not out under tailwind, I lose anyway. And I miss a snarl. So, while I don't think it affected the outcome of this game, it did affect differential, which I am extremely close in differential for playoff races, so that definitely matters. I just let O'Malley go to sleep here, which I don't know if that was a good move or not, but it's what I did. And at this point, you're going to see that Kling Clang is able to set up a shift gear. I'm just hoping at this point I can get the two-turn wake, um, but I'm not even going to be able to outspeed. So he's going to knock me out with gear grind. And here, you're basically just going to notice me getting destroyed by this Kling Clang. Uh, for a 4-0 loss. He didn't even need to go for wild charge, but he did it anyway. So that's going to be GG Sky. Uh, at this point, we are 5 and 3. I don't remember the differential, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so we lose. We are still in a playoff spot right now. But where we are with the playoff race right now, it is coming down to the last spot going between myself and opposite. Um, he has the potential to go five and four if he wins against me, and I have the potential to go five and four um, if I lose to him. Well, it would be the same thing, but it's going to come down to differential. And also at this point, it's weird. We ended up playing the week nine game before he ended up playing his week eight, so I actually needed to wait to see what he did in his uh, week eight battle. But I'm not going to spoil what that is. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil week 9 either. So, that was a GG, Sky. Um, you just out-prepped me. That Scarf Electabuzz was way too good for my team to handle. Uh, I hate electric types with this team. So, GG. If you guys like what the Oakland A's Elves are doing, make sure you like, subscribe, share, do what you do with the YouTube videos. I'm going to get on out of here and see you guys later.